Hey Facebook friends, this is Jill Savage today and I'm with my friend Julie Ryan and um, Julie and I have been um, momming together for like over 25 years. Yes. Oh my gosh, a long time. Okay, that makes us really old. So um, for just a, a, long, a while, um, we have been momming together. Um, but here's the fun part of my relationship with Julie. When we became friends 25 years ago, yeah. we discovered that uh, we actually got married on the same day mm -hmm. in the same, um, the exact same day in the same year. Right. Okay, yes. so we got married. Yes. Uh, we were in Illinois, or we were in Indiana. You guys were in Illinois. Mm -hmm. But here's the funny thing, we honeymooned at the same place. That means we were at same Estes city, Park. Same city, same state. Yes, we were at Estes Park, Colorado at the same time. But here, it gets better, it gets better. Uh, we didn't yet know each other. We had our first daughters, we had our, our first kids one day apart. Uh -huh. And we had our second kids one month apart. And I think that's about when we met, maybe. Uh -huh. And then we had our third within the same year, approximately. Right. So, yeah. So, so <laughs> we um, we are sisters from way back. And mm, but anyway, sure. I'm here with Julie. Um, Julie runs a ministry called Catalyst. Um, Ministries and it's um, based in Bloomington, Illinois, and they uh, work with women at risk, specifically women coming out of the sex trafficking industry, and they have had a, an absolutely beautiful uh, gift given to them. It was uh, a house, mm -hmm. and Julie, tell them just a little bit of what 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 will, ha what will happen in this house that we're standing in right now. Mm -hmm. This house will be a safe place for women who have. A background of being trafficked and exploited and uh, our hope is that it will be a place for a new beginning for them and that it'll be a community um, mm -hmm. where really they can find a new life mm, I love that I love that so you can see what what they have done is um, churches within our community and small mm -hmm. groups and different groups of people have adopted a room in this house mm -hmm. so behind us is this beautiful beautiful um, this will be like a place where um, the women will relax but Bible studies will be held and then um, in here in the kitchen it is um, just a place where they'll have community uh, community meals together and um, I am excited Julie and I've been talking about um, with my love of um, learning how to cook with whole foods um, I hope to be able to come and help uh, do some classes for the women and so just so excited about this but what I what I asked Julie today is um, when this uh, when God was kind of tapping her on the shoulder and this was just a dream, um, you know, kind of what fears were there, but then what words of wisdom would you offer to somebody who feels like God's maybe asking them to do something, but they are scared to do it, they don't feel equipped to do it, they know it's bigger than themselves, and it doesn't have to be starting a ministry, it doesn't have to be, you know, doing something as grand as what this has become, I mean, it can be, God can be tapping us on the shoulder to teach Sunday school, and we're overwhelmed by that because we don't feel like we're equipped for it, so what would you mm -hmm. offer today um, just to people that are feeling like maybe God's asking them to take a step of faith or to do something that's a little out of their usual uh, what words of wisdom would you offer them? You know, Jill, I, I think I would say so many things about that, but one is just, you know, to say yes, you know, to that adventure that God is inviting you into because it's going to be um, amazing. It's going to grow your relationship with God. It's going to grow you as a person. It's, mm. it's going to um, be life-giving to the people that are going to be around you and influenced by it. And um, I just, I just would say, say yes to it, and you know, obey that next step. Just usually, the Lord will give you kind of, um, maybe it's even a baby step, but He'll show you this is what I want you to do next. So do that. You know, be faithful in it, follow through, be diligent, be dependent on Him mm -hmm. through it all, and um, and do that next step, and then He'll show you the next one after that. And don't worry about step, you know, M when really you're just on step B. And just kind of be faithful in that and then be willing to ask for help too from God, of course, but others around you because he's made us a body 
and mm -hmm. we all have different gifts and abilities and he wants to involve others in the process too. I love it. I love it. So there's your words of wisdom and your encouragement today. If you want to look up um, more information, you guys are online at catalystministries.net. Yep, catalystministries.net. And um, we're just uh, praying for the women. Uh, this house will mm -hmm. have a house mom and four women. Mm -hmm. uh, it will house uh, for up to four women. So we're really praying for whoever those women are going to be that mm -hmm. are going to live here. And um, they're going to... Yeah. They're going to find Jesus, and they're yeah. going to learn um, how much he loves them, and they're going to find a new life. So yeah. very exciting. Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. all right, well, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining yeah. us.